This is sink and float. Here we have two labels to name the groups, sinking objects and floating objects. Here we have a container with water. Objects of different size and made of different materials. Some of them are going to sink and some of them are going to float. Tongues and a little towel. Now, let's see which elements are going to sink and which are going to float. Let's start with this basketball. Is it going to sink or to float? It floats. Floats. How about this panda? It is made of plastic. Let's see. Oh, it sinks. Let's see this phone number. It floats. How about this can? It is empty and closed. Is it going to sink or to float? It floats. How about this bottle? This is glass. It's empty and closed. Is it going to sink or to float? It floats. It floats because it has air inside. Maybe if we open it and we put water inside, let's see now. It sinks. But without water and claws, it floats. How about this?
kind of stone is made of plastic. Let's see. It sinks. How about this wood spoon? It floats. And this is a little pin. It's made of metal. Is it going to sink or to float? Let's see. It sinks. I have finished this activity, but if you want, you can repeat it or you can use other objects, other materials and try in the water. Are they going to sink or to float? This is sink and float.